So I started watching Attack on Titan a few weeks ago. I never really had much interest at first, but my roommate and I were looking for something to watch during dinner. He wouldn't watch Keijo or JoJo's because they weren't appealing enough to him, so I settled on his choice of Attack on Titan. 13 episodes in, holy shit does this show infuriate me. I've never before had such a mixture of hate, anger, absolute boredom, and yet a, just a jolly, giggly attitude towards this dumpster fire. Now I clearly don't see eye to eye with a lot of people because this show is very popular and very well received. So I'm going to break down how in the first 13 episodes this show just lost me entirely. Let's start with the show's fundamental problems of killing a character. Having a character you know and love die sucks. That's obvious. Having a character you don't know or know very little of means almost nothing. Attack on Titan doesn't get this concept though because they just make characters for the sole purpose of dying. It's what they do. Oh, you thought the couple introduced right before the big battle were going to make it out alive? No, of course they're not. They were put together so that it's sad when they're dead. Oh, you thought the town that Aaron grew up in was going to be fine even though they opened the whole series with a shot of the Titan invading the town? Fuck no. They got mass genocided, killed by the most crazy, inhumane ways ever just for the sake of killing and getting a reaction out of people. There are so many generic, unrecognizable faces in this show that are introduced minutes or even seconds before they die. Some just aren't even mentioned at all. They're just given these painful, over-the-top deaths that make it seem like they're trying to make the deaths as brutal as possible so that people will feel something for these nobodies. But it doesn't. Not for me, at least. But what about the main cast? They were characters designed for us to care about in their emotional journey for survival. Surely they were well-made enough for us to form deep connections with- Nope! Not even close. They fucking suck. I hate the whole main cast, except for like two of them, but for the most part I hate all of them. Especially Aaron Yeager. All this piss day never does just go around screaming. I'm gonna kill all the titans! You people are cattle! I am going to kill all the titans! I won't go outside! I am going to kill all the titans! This single-minded hatred even overshadows his original goal of wanting to be free. So much so that it just makes you wonder why they even included it at all. Remember All Might's speech with Deku about being given something because you're recognized versus because you're lucky? Eren is by far on the lucky side. So far he's done almost zero growing, he screams a lot, listens to no one, and just does whatever he pleases. Doing clearly the wrong thing and just getting fucked up. And then he's rewarded for doing it! By being given stupid titan powers. Also, a quick aside on that, I think this story would be a lot more interesting if it was actually humanity versus titans, instead of humans and human titans versus human titans and titans. Because it would actually be military strategy series instead of a kaiju fight with one of the kaiju being the loudest, whiniest main characters this side of Shinji Ikari. Get in the fucking titan, Aaron! Oh, it's sad though, because his mother died. Add it to the list. He gives Naruto speeches like he's the only one to have ever suffered in this world where literally every person has suffered in one way or another. Fuck you, Aaron. Fuck you. <sighs> I hate the sidecast too. I despise Mikasa with all of my heart and soul. She started this cool stoic badass while having little sides of emotions. Then we get to her backstory that takes up an entire episode in an 8 episode arc by the way. Which causes her vocabulary to shrink by 80% leaving her with only one word. And just devolves her into a boring Sakura. Armin and Jean are cool. They both get growth and development that feels natural and enjoyable to see. Though Armin seems to repeat his growing lessons of Nah oh guys, I'm useless, I'm just holding you guys down, I can't do nothing But what are you talking about, you're so smart, you make all the plans for us No, I fucking suck man, I'm not really good at this You super useful oh, I guess I'm super useful then And Jean gets shafted on screen time Actually, thinking about it, most of the one note side characters in this show do They get like, minutes on screen, most of them spent with each other And they just kinda sort of blend together I remember the two blonde mean looking characters because of that scene where Aaron got his ass beat and those moments will always live on forever in my heart. But beyond that, they're not very memorable or do very much. I remember this guy because he voices these characters and I like the voice actor's voice, but once again does very little beyond one, maybe two moments. The potato girl is just bland and boring. I did know the meme before I saw the scene, which I guess takes away some of her impact as a character. But if your entire character trait is based on that one moment and the fact that you like food, you are not an interesting character. I have forgotten several times who these two girls are. I didn't even realize there was another blonde in the group. And I still have no idea who Marku is. 
Who the fuck is Marco? I didn't even know he was important when he died until John told us that he was important. With such an underwhelming and forgettable cast, I could never form a connection with them and actually get invested in their journeys. I was actively rooting for them to get fucking obliterated by the Titans, mostly these two. I, I don't care about their journey, I just don't, because I don't care about them or their world. I'm gonna quote explanation point from his Magical Girl site video because it really resonated with me when I was writing this script. Darkness has no impact without light. This world sucks. The moments of happiness that are seen in this show are few and far between, and usually only there to be quickly dashed away as the remainder of the world is evil and that your life soundtrack is All the main cast share the same depressing faces and given so little development or screen time that they're just boring and forgettable. I still have no idea who Marco is. And everything they're fighting for is awful. A large majority of the people within the walls are just these scumfuck bastard evil villains. The demonic noble people who want to cartoonishly sacrifice the commoners like cattle. The corrupt religious group feeding on people's fears to gain power. The shitty police on the inner walls who care for themselves alone. Everything is just awful. The only good we ever see is our heroes part of the survey corps because we barely see anyone else in the corps that don't insta-die and some children. They needed to expand on some of the things we're fighting for for me to develop empathetic feelings when those things were lost. Developing those feelings should have been the most important factor for the series that sells itself on humanity's survival and the lives of our precious little main characters. Unfortunately, not only did they barely develop characters, but the development they did have was so slow. It's got One Piece levels of pacing. Luffy finding Katakori for 5 plus episodes looking ass. Out of the first 13 episodes, 8 of them are spent on one single day. One. Day. Yet it felt like so little happened, because they just spent so much time talking about the same plan multiple times. Gotta put the rock in the hole, rock in the hole, George. And giving the same speeches about fighting for humanity, giving multiple reactionary shots to the same scene, or just standing around doing fuck all. Do you guys remember the corpse training episode? where there was no conflict, where Eren couldn't do the Spider-Man balance training and instead of overcoming his shortcoming with hard work, it's revealed that he's actually really good at it but his equipment was faulty and wasn't even sabotaged by someone who could possibly have developed a grudge a couple scenes ago, instead it would just happen to be broken, remember that episode? Why show that? Nothing the fuck happened. Why not actually show the grueling part of the grueling training that hardened up for the life of the soldiers? They told us it was hard but we didn't really see much to make it seem hard. Why not have more conflicts between the trainees for what they want to do after becoming soldiers? Or have them figure out what they're fighting for and growing as a team because of it? Why not show anything worth of a damn instead of nothing? Oh yeah, I think I remember now because this anime is a fucking travesty! <sighs> the Titans aren't scary. They're just silly. <laughs> They're giant naked Barbie and Ken dolls, complete with the smooth over genitals. Some of the human titans have alright designs, I guess, but the concept of giant humans is already pretty fucking lame. Godzilla is cool because he's a giant nuclear lizard. Gundams are cool because they're giant man-made spachines with unique designs that fire missiles and lasers. These guys? They're ugly humans with little grabby hands. Ooh, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna grab you, I'm gonna eat you because I'm hungry. Their actions aren't really scary. They can kill you, but... So can most things. The problem is that each kill has very little thought, so their actions seem more instinctual, making all the kills feel no different than being killed by a tiger or runaway knife man. If you want to see an actual horrifying moment with a giant, I'm gonna link you guys my personal most grotesque moment from Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm linking it because if I had a look at it again while editing in the footage, I could never finish this video. Ugh, now I'm thinking about it. Oh god damn it. Alright everyone, I would like to propose a new subspecies of titans. We have the humans who become titans, we have the adherent titans, we have the regular titans, and finally, we have the new titans known as the convenience titans, because their intelligence is convenient to the plot. You guys have been seen to reach for people on buildings and snatch them out of the sky mid-swing on reaction, but you're gonna face check this golden corral all-you-can-eat buffet? Oh, must have just been the convenience. You can't find this little man hiding in a building despite your basic kind being able to pick up on humans fairly easily. Oh, it was the convenience. Also, the way that they kill people is just hilarious. So between not caring for any of the characters, hating the Titans as a whole, and just the framing and speed at which the deaths were portrayed, I laughed at every single kill in this show. I laughed at this. This. And this one is my all-time favorite. This show honestly feels like a shitty 90s slasher flick or the Purge series. I was just waiting through this mediocre, boring story, waiting for the next inventive, crazy kill to happen. 
Even though I know none of the people I really want to die will ever die because they made it crystal fucking clear they won't kill anyone important by pretending to kill Aaron. I hate this so much. And not just because I hated Aaron and wanted him to die, but because this is a fucking sin to a series who thrives on the survival of its characters. Killing off such an important character affects the rest of the cast. It can make them grow. It can make them want to carry on the legacy of the person. Their thoughts, their ideals, it can live on in someone who is inspired by that person. It can make them change. Make them better. But then he says, nope, and brings it back to life and just nullifies any development. Woo! Your favorite character ain't never dying. Buy our merchandise. Guys, I think I found it. I think I found my magnum opus. A series that's so popular, yet so terribly bad that I despise it with all my heart. But I haven't given up on the series yet. Because one, I'm a masochist, and B, I love dumpster fires. And since making this video, I have finished season one, and oh my god, is Captain Levi single-handedly trying to save this show. He is a beautiful creature. He hates everything, just like I do. He thinks all this shit is stupid. He beats the shit out of Aaron, so, which is a major plus in my heart. It's number one, number one, baby. And Commander Irwin is there doing stuff too, I guess. But Captain Levi is the best. He hates the Titans so much that he picked up his sword, bought Infinity Edge, Max's E, and just started Garen Beyblade spinning at these creatures a million miles an hour, and it's ridiculous and goofy, because he doesn't give a shit, so why should he give a shit about physics? I love him. And the plot's still mediocre. There's mystery elements now, but wow, are the mysteries very easy to figure out. Huh. There's this giant, blonde, female titan. Weird. Huh. She doesn't want to kill Armin or anyone associated with that group. Weird. Huh. Wasn't there another person in Eren's training group? Like a blonde person with a very mean looking face? Is she on the mission? Where is she? Oh, she's not with them because she didn't end up joining them? Weird. Who could this giant female blonde titan be? Man, there's so much goofy shit that I just got to keep going, guys. So I'm going to keep going. I'll let you guys know what I think maybe down the line or something. I just wanted to shit on this while trying to sound smart because I'm j it just made me so angry. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it made sense. You can relate or at least see my point of view without thinking I'm just mean-spirited asshole, which I mean might be true, but I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just throwing out my opinion. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.